All right, guys, here you are for module six, lesson two. So in the last lesson, we talked about how to change a fraction um, of a tenth into a decimal. And then today we're gonna learn something. Um, we're gonna add on to that learning, okay? So let's say I have two centimeters and I wanna add it to six tenths. I know that I can only add a fraction with a fraction and a whole number with a whole number. So all this becomes is a mixed number and it becomes two centimeters and six tenths. So all it becomes is a mixed number. I can't combine or change any of the terms. Now, if I wanted to write this mixed number, but in a decimal form, the two would stay a two and the six tenths would change to 0 0.6. Now this two is actually 2.0. Usually we drop the point zero, which is why sometimes you may be confused, but we're gonna bring down our plus sign. So now we have 2.0 plus 0 0.6. Now this is going to equal 2.6 centimeters. Now on the side, I just want to show you, when you're adding with decimals, one important thing is to make sure that you line up your decimals. So it might be easier to write the numbers on top of each other. So I have 2.0, and then I'm going to line up my decimal point, right? So I know that to the right of the decimal immediately is my 6, and to the left of the decimal immediately is a 0. So if I add them like that, I add straight down, 0 plus 6 is 6. 2 plus 0 is 2. Notice if I leave it like that, 26 is definitely the wrong answer. But once you bring down your decimal, then you have 2.6, which is completely different than um, 26. Okay, so we have 2 centimeters, which is the same thing as 2.0, 6 tenths, which is the same thing as 0 0.6. Add them together, we have 2 and 6 tenths or 2.6. So what I'm saying is that these two terms are equal to each other. If this is equal to this and this is equal to this, then our answers also have to be equal to each other. So I'm also going to write that down. So we know that 2 and 6 tenths in decimal version is 2.6, okay? So now let's say I want to draw this um, 2 and 6 tenths or 2.6 as a area model. The first thing I have to think about is how many tenths are going to be in each hole. We know we have two holes and 6 tenths, but how many tenths are in each hole? Hmm. Well, if I'm dealing with tenths, then in one hole, we should have 10 tenths, okay? So I'm gonna um, draw it actually with my pen. I'm gonna have one area model, one hole, and I'm going to section this into 10 equal parts. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine and ten so this is one whole or ten tenths so one whole or ten tenths okay well I need two holes and six tenths so that's one whole so let me draw another one same thing into ten equal pieces Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So this is also equal to one whole or ten tenths. So now I have two holes or how many tenths? Two holes or twenty tenths because you have ten tenths plus another ten tenths would give you twenty tenths. Okay, so am I done? Hopefully you said no, because it's two holes and six tenths. So here we are gonna draw another one, separate it into 10 equal pieces. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. But this time, instead of the whole thing, we're only gonna shade in six equal pieces. 
one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now we have six tenths. So 2.6 or two and six tenths as an area model is two holes and six tenths shaded. That could also be if we take the 10 tenths plus the 10 tenths plus the six tenths, it can also be a total of 26 tenths because 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 6 is 26 tenths. So 2 and 6 tenths equals 2.6, which is also equal to 26 tenths. Okay, so let me show you an example how if they gave you a fraction like this, how you can change it into a mixed number or a decimal. So let's say the um, fraction is 31 tenths. 30, well, 31 tenths. Well, I know we're dealing with tenths, which means one whole could only be 10 tenths, right? So I'm gonna take that down, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So here is 10 tenths or one whole. Now, if I take out 10 from here, then I would still have 31 minus 10 would give me 21, right? So that's still, that means I can still take out some more, right? So let's do it. Let's take out another hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So here is another 10, 10 or one hole. So now we got 10 tenths plus 10 tenths equals 20 tenths, which is still means I have some more. So let's take out another one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So here's 10 tenths or one whole. So now we got 10, 20, 30. Hmm. Okay, I have 30 tenths here, but I need 31, which means I'm going to draw another one, but I'm only going to shade in one tenth. Okay, so here is one tenth. So now I have 10, 20, 30, one tenths. So, I'm going to figure out how to write this as a mixed number. So I have one, two, three holes, and one ten. Now, if that is my mixed number, I can write that as a decimal. Well, that's no problem. I know any whole number, especially my ones, goes to the left of my decimal. So if I write my decimal first, to the left, I'm gonna write my three holes. And then to the right of my decimal is my 10th place. So I have one tenth, so it would be 3.1. So again, to determine this, this is just making this fraction as a mixed number. Now, you can count, skip count, to figure out how many holes you can take out. So 10, 20, 30, and then I have one tenth left. That's one way. I drew out my area models just so I can visually see it, but whatever works for you.